A tempo tank is what they used to describe Ramatra, the newest tank being added into the roster of Overwatch 2. Will he change the game? Will he shake up the meta? Will he become a prominent character or thrown by the wayside? We don't know. We've got to find out. Yo, what you know, it's your boy One Hero back on YouTube with the new episode. Now let's go. So we finally have more information detailing the coverage of Ramatra being the latest tank, the Omni tank being brought into Overwatch 2. He will be released on season two, which begins December 6th. So we cannot wait for that. But going into more detail about his abilities, his ultimate kit and everything else, it goes Void Accelerator. Then you have Pummel. Then you have the Nemesis form. Then you have Ravenous Vortex. And then you have Annihilation. So let's go ahead and let's break those down. In Omni form, which is his normal state, you have Void Accelerator. That's where you fire a stream of projectiles in a fixed pattern, or you can create a barrier at a targeted location. And that barrier seems to be very massive. It like trumps Reinhardt's shield itself, which they've been doing Reinhardt dirt since they nerfed his shield health and among other things. So just another day in the park for people that played Reinhardt, like myself. Then you have his nemesis form where he transforms into the nemesis form. That where he gets that's where he gets. Then you have the nemesis form. That is his bigger, bulkier tank hulkbuster form. He transforms into that. And upon doing so, you get changes to your attacks and you gain bonus armor, which is 450 armor, I believe, on top of the health that you have. In that form, you have pummel, where you punch forward and each punch you create a wave of energy with every swing. That allows you to push people back and do more damage like a projectile, which is pretty cool. Any damage taken from the front is significantly reduced. Also, it reduces your movement speed, so you move a little bit slower, but you're also more tankier to take the damage on and to deal out more damage along the way. Then you have the Ravenous Vortex. It's where you fire this nano ball and it explodes and hits the ground, spreading and damaging the field. So any enemies that get trapped inside of that, like an Echo, a Mercy, a Pharah, will be dragged to the ground and then you can kind of finish them off and get them out the way. And then last but not least is going to be the ultimate called Annihilation creating a spreading swarm of nanobots that creep out in front of you at a slow pace, dealing damage and reducing enemy damage dealt by 50%. The kit looks amazing. I'm really excited that they decided to go with the route of bringing in a newer tank and not going with something as traditional as we've been used to, I guess, with Overwatch 1 being out and now going into Overwatch 2. I find it interesting that they're calling him a tempo tank, but I understand how you can go from fast to slow to fast to slow to being a person that can hold down one area to also being able to go on the move. So you can't really put this person in the box when you're trying to face Ramatra. But again, it all sounds good on paper. I would love to see more about it and more of the gameplay. The abilities do look broken or cracked as people would say. No, they look very interesting in how he uses his abilities. And it's very cool to see how it's a very stark contrast between him and Zenyatta. I can't wait to see more about it. I can't wait to be able to play the character themselves because I feel like actual gameplay in the hands of a player, not the doctored up footage that we normally see, is really where the telling tale comes of if the character is going to be good or not. I mean, you put most characters in the hands of, a, of the right person, they could probably do a decent job. If not, they can do a great job playing that hero. I would definitely like to see if it's going to be a character that I will play where I'm like, this fits my play style and, and, and something that I feel like I could really do a good job at playing and supporting the team. Or if it's going to be one of those like, oh man, if only I could play him. He looks really cool. I don't mind playing with him, but I just can't play as him. I think there's a lot of people out there that play Overwatch that could learn that. I know Genji looks cool, but put him down. You're not helping the team. No, no I kid, I kid, I kid, but I really don't. But yeah, I hope everybody out there is excited with the changes that are coming with that as well, because Ramatra, again, looks really cool. I love the story and lore behind him wanting to protect his people and fight to save them, to find a new place and a new home for them. Also, learning more about the lore of him coming from Shimbali, which is also the new map they introduced that we're going to be able to play, which has a tie to, again, to Zenyatta, to now Ramatra, and also even where Genji was spending some of his time at in Nepal when he was being resurrected from his battle that he had with his brother to death. That's all I really got for now, and I can't wait to see more and look out for more news coming from me about Overwatch 2. We got some more things to detail and cover. And with that, be great, be you, fly easy till next time, heroes. Peace.